Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, family. Today is Saturday, and your girl is in the swing of things. <laughs> I am dancing. I'm enjoying my music. This is what gets me going. I woke up feeling extremely blessed, extremely blessed. So today I decided to vibe with some um, Haitian music, some kumpa. And I am playing Babe's um, Mix. That's what I am playing and enjoying it. It always does me in the mood. So I already um, cleaned, kind of cleaned. Um, this wasn't the hard part for me today. Today's going to be, the hard part is going to be my closet, child. I'm about to tackle this closet. So I need you guys to stick with me to the end and just hold your girl up. You know what I'm saying? Like hold, hold he chant up as I go through this moment that ain't gonna be fun for me please stick around <laughs> so guys i am going to tackle that closet today i am not going to complete it but what i'm about to do to that closet is going to be a step that has been taking me months to do and i'm gonna be feeling a lot better after this video okay so stay tuned until I get to this closet, okay? Um, this is gonna be, I don't think that I'm gonna finish off um, because I'm not doing my custom closet right now. My mind is on my powder bathroom, so I'm gonna start that. But when I start that, I'm going to not make it a, a I, I don't wanna promise that. Um, it might end up being a series um, of videos to finish that bathroom. Because again, you know, I am doing the DIY, I'm doing it myself. But I have this beautiful vision in my head, and I think you guys are going to love what you see me do with that bathroom. I will show you some of the inspirations and how I use this inspiration and created my own design. Okay? Um, it'll be something that you guys will be able to be like, hmm, that's how they do it, these designers. <laughs> Okay, so guys, if this is your first time seeing me, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and vibe with me on Saturdays. This is how I vibe on a Saturday. This is how I get up real early. I start to clean my house. It's already clean. I clean my bathroom. I only have my shower to do. But this is how I do it, okay? And it gets me through the day. And then after that, I can just leave and I can go to the mall and chill and hang out with my daughter all afternoon. That's what I be talking about clean early and hang out all day okay guys Amen. Man. 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 okay guys let me stop beating around the bush that's what I do when I'm trying to concentrate. Should I do take on a task or should I not take that task on? So, so, first the task, y'all. So, I have all these drawers, right? And I'm gonna show you my closet in a minute, right? DJ Bo just turns me on. <laughs> me on. He just turns me on. DJ Bo, you turn me on. It just turns me on. Today's Saturday, guys. Okay? You turn me on Cause you're turning me on That moment when you thought you was videoing but you wasn't <laughs> Let's do it again, rewind <laughs> Jump jar number one Jump jar number two 
Jump draw number three. This is not junk, but who know what this is? Know what this is? She close to my side. She don't play Miss Weston, don't play. That's three junk draws, right? Wait for it. Guys, go and subscribe to his channel. I'm trying to get him to stop posting again to grow his channel. So go subscribe. So he'll be like, where are all these subscriptions coming from? And then you can tell him Jack by Design sent you. Back to the junk drawers. Junk drawer number four. This is serious, y'all. Junk drawer number five. Junk drawer number six. Now that's some foolish shit if you ever seen any, right? You want me to show you some more foolishness? <laughs> okay. Let me turn my um, DJ bow down a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if I should show y'all this because, you know, we have some judgmental people in this world. That act like they don't have no 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 um dirt in their closets, but like they sin less. But I'm about to expose one of my sins to you guys, and if you judge me, you're gonna get blocked. <laughs> Listen, I don't give a a rat's ass. I know why this is like this. And it's not because I don't like to clean or because I'm lazy. It's because I got too much shit. <laughs> okay, ain't funny no more. Guys, so I just showed you six junk drawers, right? And one day I was laying, I said, girl, you got all these junk drawers, but you got all them clothes that you don't know what to do with. You don't have nowhere to put them. At least you could put is your underwear, bras, and you know, probably the daily clothes that you wear through the house type of thing or your little nightgowns or whatever. At least you could do that. And, you know, you need to declutter. But since we ain't decluttering right now, um, you could do that with probably two of those drawers. If you, if you see what I'm saying. So, that's what I'm about to do. But, shall we show you? What I'm dealing with. I don't know if I should show y'all. I don't know if this should be on social media for a couple reasons. It's it's showing an addiction that I don't have anymore. One. And if I show you, I'll tell you what that addiction is. And if I don't show you, I'll still tell you what it is. But this is my, I'm, a serious, I'm getting serious as you can see. Because in here it depresses me. And I don't come in here no more. And I hardly, if I come in here, I know what I'm coming to grab, where it's located, and I'm out of here. Um, I have not even been putting my wash clothes back into this closet anymore. Because I don't have anywhere to put them. Okay? I don't have anywhere to put them. And, yeah. So I have a problem going on, right? So, let me show you guys my problem. Um, if you don't see this, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but if you don't see this, then I couldn't stomach it. Period. But, let's do this. Let me do this. Guys, here is one of my closets. Okay? This is the problem I have. I'm going to do a span, and you guys will see what I'm talking about. First, I'm going to show you the clothes, some of the, cl the clothes that are hung. Now, normally, when I take something off of a hanger, 
to let me know that I have extra hangers, I normally would put them here. You see it over there, if I took a pants off, I put the hanger there. But it got to a point where, see those one, two, three that is sticking up? You got one here, you got one here, you got a couple back here that um, is just there, right? I didn't, con I didn't do what I normally do. I don't know why, I don't know when that happened. These, I normally would hang stuff like this here because I wore it and I wanted to air out before I put it between the other clothes. Or I'm, you know, I'm saying, hey, I might wear this sometime soon again. Okay? Now, these folded clothes on top here was clothes I was holding on to, talking about, oh, maybe you might lose some weight. Child, you ain't losing no damn weight. Get rid of these stuff. So, I need to declutter. See? Let me show you. Okay? Let me show you guys my second problem. <laughs> All these clothes right here, the, I want to say 99% of them needs to go on a hanger. So when I wash, I don't fold the clothes that needs to go on a hanger. What I would normally do is I will come and I will put them on top of the dresser. And then I will come in here and I will grab the hangers and I will start to hang. That stopped at some point because I started to not even have room to put nothing. Because look at my drawers. So what happened was this drawer broke. I tried to fix it, but it wouldn't push in no more. About a week or two after I fixed this drawer, this one broke, the one below started to break. These over here just collapsed. They all just started to collapse one by one. And that's when I gave up on this room. I was like, what is going on? Every time I would pull a drawer, it would just completely pull apart, okay? So now the dresser has become a catch-all, okay? Then my shoes used to always be very organized, but as we can see, they're not. I don't even know what I have, and it's summer is here, and I need to pull out my summer slides, but I'm like, child, the only one I've found so far is the Gucci ones, but I need to look for like my Louis Vuitton slide, my coat slides, my um, Tory Burch, like I just look for them. Then here is my second problem and my addiction. Every now and then I have this addiction. Every couple of years. And this one was going on until Babe opened his mouth. And I realized my addiction was back. I clearly, I did not realize it was back until he said something. Sometimes people have to show you your flaws. So guys, when I told you guys in other videos that I have not been buying any clothes, I wasn't lying. But this is what I've been spending my money on. Some of them I've had for a while. Yes, all of these boxes has a bag in it. Okay? So that's what's been going on. Um... But I'm going to show you. You think this is something? Here are my bigger bags up here. Now, if you're going to spend money on bags, at least you could do is take care of the bags, right? I have bags up here that still has freaking tags on them. Not used. I've never used... This Christian Dior bag, never used it. This um, Gucci bag, I think I used it probably once. I used to use this bag until I went and I bought <coughs> uh, this one. See? Like, I have, it's so much going on here, it's ridiculous. Um, this one right here, I stopped using that bag because for some reason I started liking smaller bags and I don't know I bought the big one and I wish I didn't buy the one that was that big okay so that's this one here that I don't care for anymore so I'll never pull it down but I need somewhere to put my bags and that's why I need to get my closet done um so 
I'm not going to do nothing with the bags today. But I'm going to try to do something with the clothes. Because I did clean my other room. My daughter's room. I cleaned that closet. So that I can transfer some of these stuff over into that closet. Guys, that didn't happen. That closet is full to the rim. With my decorative pillows. Blankets. I have my wash clothes basket sitting in the middle in there because that was the intention and it didn't happen. Okay. So yeah, the other day I came in here looking for my Hermes slippers and I could only find one and I was so tired bending down. Yeah. So like I said, I'm not going to touch your bags per se, but I am going to, um, see, I don't feel like doing nothing now. <clears throat> it has gotten so, oh. It has gotten so out of hand. I don't know what clothes I have and what I don't have. I know that I've been rewearing the same stuff over and over because my stuff is in that closet. This other closet over here is not under control, but I got a lot of my comforters and stuff out of there into the other closet. So I'm gonna show you guys the other closet that I wanted to transfer these clothing to so that I can start to because I want to I'm doing a custom closet and I can start to like plan it out measure it out whatever but let me show you what happened with that closet let me show you like over here I was able to bring these units from my office over here and then what I did is all the different t-shirts and hoodies and stuff. These are jackets down below. This is all for Babe's t-shirt business. He makes t-shirts. Um, so if you guys need t-shirts, he does t-shirts. So that's what all that is. But I'm going to open up this closet and show you guys what's going on. And I don't have no space to bring my clothes that I wanted to bring over here because I have too much um I have too much decorative items okay let me just turn you guys around so you guys can see what I'm saying Guys, this closet, the only space I had for my clothes was sitting right here in the middle. So these are my wash clothes. When I wash my clothes, I bring them and I drop them right here in this basket, right? But let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. It's Phil. I'm not playing when I tell you it's she's Phil to the room. Okay. It's full. I was thinking to put one more shelf, and I was like, girl, one more shelf ain't going to help you. I would have had to go and purchase the wood to do one more shelf. So, I need an organizer. I need all kinds of things. This foolishness right here. Child. I really got too much stuff. What? So when you guys hear me say I am not buying anything, I have to literally not buy anything at all, no matter what it is, you know, unless it's food. Because I have too much stuff I don't have nowhere to put nothing um 
first first i was saying oh my house too small for you know too much people living in the house now i got two rooms that's empty one is my house is a four bedroom house one room is my office the other room now i've turned that into another another kind of an office so i don't know what to do I told y'all when I go in there, it gets me depressed. Not depressed, cause I don't, I don't have, I'm don't suffer no depression, but um, so it's not. I don't get depressed. I get confused. That's the word I should be using, cause I don't get depressed, but I get very confused, and then I don't know what to do. So. I'm like, should I tackle, should I tackle this? Should I tackle what I want to tackle today, which is, um, pull my underwear, at least my underwears, and put them in a drawer out here that I can access them. Because this makes no sense to have, like, I know what's in every drawer. So I know where to go to for everything in these drawers. Um, so I really don't want to move too much stuff around, but you see how my energy dropped? That's what happened when I goes in that closet. My energy drops, right? Because I think I see so much freaking work. Like it has gotten so out of control. And normally when I see things getting out of control, I would try to wheel back. But that closet got out of control. And I don't I know how to fix it, but I was trying to bribe my daughter to help me. I can't ask Babe to help me because every piece of bag, clothing, shoes, whatever he pulls out, he gonna have something to say. And he gonna act like he ain't know when this was bought. Now, I have a pair of $500 sneakers in there that Judith would have never purchased on her own. Guess who purchased it? He did. But that $500, a sneaker now, that's fine. But if I had go buy the $500 sneaker, really? You ain't spent $500 on a pair of sneakers and you don't even like sneakers like that. But he wanted me to have these sneakers. He was like, you need to have these sneakers. They're going to look awesome on you. We were traveling. We was going somewhere. I think we was going to Africa. We was going somewhere. No, that was in Dubai. It was Africa. I think we was going to Africa. Somewhere we was going. We was going on a far trip. It was Africa. Yeah, so that's how those... Was it Africa? I think it was Africa. Because the outfit we had... Child, a sweatsuit for over $300. Scotch and, Scotch and something. I don't even know the damn name of the brand. It's Scotch and something. I wore it one time. So, yeah. I don't want to relax too much. Because I need to do something. Guys. If I move these clothes over, I will show you guys in the end if I if I did the drawers. Maybe I should go, let me rewind Babe's um, mix. Maybe it'll get me back into, ah, uh, I came off of it. Great. Because the beginning of this mix be having me real hype. So let's try that and see. What that does to me. Oh. 
Okay. That's my dad, right? I remember when I was young and my dad liked a song and he's sitting and he like a song comes on, he'll go like this. Okay guys, so I decided to at least hang the clothes that are in the closet. So what I'm doing right now is I am going through the um, clothing and pulling out all of my empty um, hangers. And then I am going to start to hang the clothes that are on top of the dresser. Touching these clothes is like a booby trap. You pull the wrong one from the wrong part, all of them are gonna tumble down. <laughs> Guys, you see this barmaid um, um, hoodie? Hmm. I'm not saying nothing, but when I purchase stuff, <laughs> it's another story. So this bag, I was using it a lot, but then I went back to a smaller bag and I'm finding like jewelry in there, my passport. I've been looking for my coach earrings forever, couldn't find them. I was wondering what happened to my stud, my tope stud earrings, my Movado watch, like my little tennis bracelet. Like everything was up in this bag from the last time I, I think that's from when I traveled last. Okay, this bag right here, I completely forgot that I had that bag because it was under all those clothes, as you can see. And yeah, <laughs> just a slow mo, slow mo, slow mo. <laughs> Guys, this stupid mirror all the time. So, I'm basically just gonna go through my bags, make sure there's nothing in these bags that I have been looking for. Okay, so this bag, I used to wear that YSL bag so, so much. And then the the wallet, which is a Louis Vuitton little, it's like a um, calendar guide thing. And it's a planner. It's like a planner case and it has parts for your cards. I started to use that and it's too big for my small purses. So I need to buy me a smaller purse, but I'm on a spending um, hole. And these are my Tom Folds that I've told you guys about. I love those shades. And yep, that purchase was a babe purchase. Because I would not have spent that on a pair of shades. Yep, yep, yep. That's another $500 right there. $550. Easy. So, what I'm trying to do is stuff out my bags. That little purse right there is... The first time that purse got used was on baby Zyla. Just imagine how cute she was. People thought she was so cute. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute with her little Gucci purse. But yeah, that's the first person I used that purse. I don't think I ever used it. I think I used it probably once. Yeah. So I'm basically just going to show you guys what's in some of these boxes. Some of these things, as you will see, has never been used. And if they have been, probably once. What I'm searching for to show you guys is my 
favorite, favorite Louis Vuitton bag, okay? This bag, I have never used that Fendi bag, never. I bought it because I was like, I don't have no Fendi bag, so I bought it. Really. That Gucci bag, never wore it. This is my favorite bag, y'all. And it's because of the lock. Oh my God. When they took this lock out of their chest and put it into production, I had to. I actually have two bags. One of them comes with two, and I'm going to show you guys that next with this lock. The other one, I kind of have it more of a collectible more than anything else. So I'm trying to, like again, stuff my bags so that they will have, um, they will not be squashed up. But when I am decluttering, I'm going to take some of those shirts and stuff, and I'm going to put in my bags. This is the next one. So this one, I have it more like a collectible. And then it comes with a small one that hangs off in the front of it. I love this freaking bag. Like right now, I'm loving how this area of my um, of the closet is smelling because you're smelling pure leather. Leather. Um, this is a Christian Dior. I've only used that bag once, and it was to go to my cousin's wedding. Never used it again. It's that type of a bag, anyways, to wear to you know nice occasions. I think I'm gonna show you guys these sneakers. $500, okay, 500 extremely comfortable, but it's very hard for me to get them on by myself. I always have to use my, um, this, to try to put it on if I don't have nobody to help me, so that's why I don't wear them, $500, can you say nothing about that? So I always try to keep those sneakers in those boxes just in case he ever come and ask me where are those sneakers at. Um, and this is my favorite, favorite traveling coach bag. And it was on the floor under all that stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, not my favorite bag. And does anyone else keep their shopping bags like when they go to these stores, Nima Marcus, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Coach, like do y'all keep the bags? Because I have all my bags. Well, not all, but majority of my bags. Like, those that we, when we bought our stuff in Dubai, most of those bags I don't have. Because, of course, like, traveling back with them. But stuff that I bought here in the States, I have. Okay, guys. So, this is what I got done. I didn't do anything up there because I need a ladder to get up there. And I don't know where my small la ladder is at. But... Um, I was able to get all these clothes off of here. That's some of like baby Zyla stuff. And at least now I can see here. So I used to have this little hand. I had gotten this from Home Goods. And I need to put these jewelry up in my safe. But I also need my ladder so that I can reach up my safe. I don't know where my ladder is at. And I can see all of my shades. I do have like two pair of my shades in the car. I need to take them out and get them in here um so at least i can see my bags some kind of how like yeah i can see the bags right um so yeah um my shoes i haven't organized my shoes as yet these two bags i had them hang up here and if they they were too heavy so these need to go up here but I need to get the ladder so I can get up there. I can sit these things how I had them sitting. But it's like when you pull one out and then to put it back up, I will throw them up instead of going to get the ladder. So I'm going to go through these drawers. I'm gonna pull, this top drawer used to be my underwear and this one used to be my bras. This one used to be sleeping stuff and like any bathing suits. And then this used to be all my tees, undershirts. And then below that used to be shorts and stuff like that. So I'm going to pull all my underwear ones out. And I'm going to put them out in my nightstand. I don't know why I never thought of that before. But I'm going to do that. And that will start to clear up some of these drawers. And I can start throwing away. Because I'm going to throw this entire dress away. Um, and yeah. So 
And then my shoes, I have shoes over in this closet that belongs over in the other closet because my winter stuff is in the other closet. Let me show you guys a little bit of the other closet. Okay guys, so this is the other closet. Hair was just full of all of my comforters and stuff. So I took those over into the other room. So these stuff here on the floor, I think it's only probably that jacket I'm keeping but the other clothing. I'm gonna send them to Goodwill, so that's why they're just thrown there on the floor. Um, these are mostly like all my jackets that I haven't worn. Probably about two of these jackets has been worn, and the rest haven't been worn for like over 13 years. So I'm not lying to you. Um, so that's why I tell you guys my safe is up here. Uh, um, I got rid of some of. Up here, I don't know if I ever showed you guys up here before. I think I did when I was showing you guys the upper closet. I remember. But this was packed with stuff to the rim. And these are like, remember I told you guys when I get a, a sheet set and it's good and comfortable, I go and I buy another one and I just hold it for when that one is no good anymore and then I'll switch. So that's what these are. This one, I'm using this one on my bed right now. I've been using it on the bed for I wanna say, over three four years now um and it's still going strong but that yeah i got that from bed bat and beyond um but yeah so that's what's going on and um i'm done for now tomorrow um i don't want this video to be too much longer but tomorrow what i'm gonna do is i am going to um move my my undergarments into this drawer and i'll probably give you guys an update on that on the next vlog but i'm gonna close this vlog off now and i'm gonna thank you guys for sticking with me on the end um this was personal for me and um as you guys saw that it actually stresses me out dealing with it so um so thank you guys for sticking in and thank you for your kind words in advance <laughs> Guys, I will see you guys on Wednesday for the next upload. And Wednesday's upload should be about my different DIYs that I've done in my home that I am pleased with and different stuff like that. Okay? So I will see you guys on my next one. Bye. Okay, guys. Today is still Saturday, but since I kind of halfway organized my closet, I decided to put on some of my stuff. my fit shoes bag headband shades she out though